you're still watching 8-Bit Days a Week, but today's video will not be about a game, but rather a toy. But that's also from our past, so to speak. And this is Masters of the Universe Skeletor. I'm taking a look at the packaging. This is somewhat looking similar to the older uh, packaging that we had many years ago and uh, some very nice uh, artwork there and a couple of cross-elves I guess we have a He-Man of course Tila, Man-at-Arms, Skeletor, Evil Lin and Beast Man this is probably the Wave 1 characters and uh, some of the features but um, yeah I guess the main feature it has a uh, more articulation and it has some accessories so um all right well i hope i don't damage the there's there appears to be like a comic that um that's inside similar to what they had in the original line and um yeah this is actually I, I, I mean, I got Skeletor over He-Man. <laughs> uh, I'll do get to He-Man eventually, but this is the first one that I have. And it's strange though because uh, it's it's it feels. Uh, it, it, I guess it, this is nostalgia kicking in, and uh, Masters of the Universe is probably like um, the first toy line I ever remember playing it when I was really young um, okay let's take a quick look at the comic here Beast Barrage all right I hope it focuses okay and um, if you want to read it maybe you can Give this a pause. I'll just go over the pages. So I suppose they're focusing on the characters that appeared on that uh, the wave of uh, cross cells that we saw in the back of the card. I, I I'm I'm not reading it right now, so it's probably I don't know an origin story maybe. Or maybe just a simple good versus evil story. But anyway, that's it. And um, I got Skeletor here. Uh, carefully remove this, not to damage the accessories. Ugh, tape. All right. Um, let's go ahead and. I don't want to hassle myself. I'll just use the scissors. And here we go. One half of the power sword, because this can actually interlock with the uh, He Man's sword. Hold on, I can't seem to remove this. Let's uh, take a look at. Skeletor then first since I'm having trouble with that. Okay. Carefully now. Man, these ones are hard to Yeah, they're really all tied up, I guess. And here he is, the Lord of Destruction. Um, that's 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 like from Diablo, right? I think it was Bale. <laughs> While well, Diablo himself was the Lord of Terror, and um, so he he would appear to stand a bit taller than the original, like the vintage line, because. The original vintage line has them like uh, a bit hunched like this and um, 
they usually stand about uh, 5.5 so I mean 5.5 inch so this would look taller but it should be the same so all right uh, we got head articulation shoulder it can uh, go around and yeah you could, couldn't do this you couldn't do this kind of uh, pose before and oops looks like I removed the arm yeah but I think that should be a normal thing because we I saw other figures that have like extra arm accessories uh, all right so a little elbow articulation and uh, well, this is the best part the knees and the like the ankles okay and let's give it the power sword uh, this is exactly how I remember like the harness is like on the vintage line you can remove it uh, with a bit of effort I guess <laughs> and uh looks pretty good the colors are something like out of the filmation cartoon the hood is a bit different though from i i remember i guess there are more accurate versions of the hood that uh skeletor usually how like how he appears doing these things yet in fact since as i mentioned this is like the first toy i bought in how many years now i mean i haven't been playing with toys casting a big shadow over there but what i do have as a game channel is a comparison to games based on other popular toy lines actually the rival of uh, masters of the universe this is gi joe <laughs> i don't have anything to compare it to i'm really sorry <laughs> so anyway this is gi joe and power rangers but this one is more from the 90s so they weren't really in direct competition oh well here's something that's also out of the 80s that has some sort of a revival a few years ago and it is the nes classic <laughs> also a like a modern take re-release similar to skeletor here uh, let's have him hold the controller and yeah <laughs> this is the most comparison i can make so uh yeah i'm sorry <laughs> so that should be it um um, um this is uh, masters of the universe uh origins skeletor 